From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the uh, euro and the pound. And you can see that the euro has, in fact, uh, found itself uh, rallying a bit. It looks like uh, 118 or so has caused a little bit of a pullback. And quite frankly, you know, this is a market that has gotten way ahead of itself, at least in the short term. I do think that we go higher. So it's clear you can't be a seller. I think what you're looking for here is some type of pullback. 117 minimum. I'd love to see 115. I wouldn't hold my breath on it, though. We're probably... I'd be surprised if we saw it. Uh, nonetheless, I wouldn't be afraid to buy it. Uh, this is a market if we break above 118. We're going to 120, but I really, really don't like the idea of um, chasing this parabolic move right now. British pound, kind of the same thing. It's not quite as parabolic, but I think, you know, these two will typically move in the same overall direction. So I'm looking for value here. 120 to 750 to 126.50 would be a great place to buy this. If we break out above here, then 131.50. Now, I will say this. If both of these break, it's probably more palatable, palatable to take the British pound only because it's not quite as parabolic. Um, but clearly, it's it's a one-direction trade. It's all anti-U.S. dollar. I just don't see how that changes anytime soon. Mm -hmm.